Yes, there is evidence that uh, fighting language can be harmful and so it is never a good idea to use it or use it first. I think healthcare professionals in the UK are aware of this. Um, the second is to um, be conscious that different people use and need different kinds of language at different points in the experience or just because they're different individuals. So there needs to be, uh, healthcare professionals need to be sensitive to what patients are saying and work with that language rather than trying to impose or to suggest things on the assumption that there is a one-size-fits-all, which there is not. So if healthcare professionals take their cue from what patient, language patients use and work with that, either to reinforce it or sometimes maybe to challenge it if it's not working well, uh, I think communication will be more effective and sensitive for everyone.